Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank you all for inviting me to attend for the Olymp Paralympic Celebration Day. I'm so pleased to be able to meet these talented athletes, these two here, in person, and to be able to extend my thanks on behalf of the people of Peterborough for your amazing success at this year's London 2012 Paralympic Games. I would like to take this opportunity to present these civic gifts which you already got. All that was to me. <laughs> on behalf of Peter of City Council and the Peter of People. Uh, it, is, it is our token of appreciation for your amazing achievements this year. We hope you continue on to the 2016 Rio Games and we wish you the best of luck. And I'd like to thank you once again. Thank you very much for the achievements. Thank you. Harriet, it's been a fantastic day. What have you made of it so far? Yeah, it's been a lovely day. We've been able to celebrate with all the schools and then the people here right now. It's been lovely just to come back and, you know, celebrate with everyone and our achievements. Tell us about your, um, when you obviously were, you got the certificate from the, from the mayor earlier today and you told us a, a bit of a story about how you never knew, nearly made it. Yeah, I was not very well four months, five months ago before the race, so uh, yeah, I was in intensive care and a life support, so I was quite lucky to even get there and even get a medal, so it's nice to be standing here today and be able to kind of share that and say that I got here and managed it. How, how does it feel to receive that kind of, you know, the medal, the whole, what goes through your mind when, you, when, you, when you're at that top of your game? I think you're in a bubble. It's a bit of a dream you kind of don't realize it's happening until a few days later even now sometimes I'm like oh I actually won a Paralympic medal so it's kind of kind of living a dream world for a while and it's just such an amazing feeling even when you go back to it a few months later or even now you kind of just sit there and think about it it makes everything that you've done and everything you sacrificed so much worth the while really so what happens now clearly you want to be uh, kind of competing in four years time I mean how, how do you kind of work that four-year training schedule I mean do you kind of ramp it up obviously each year or um, well we have major competitions every year so it's pretty much the same each year you know you up it every now and then lower it depending on what's around the corner but it'll be a hard slog now till March you know bigger meterage big efforts and then we'll like taper for trials and then we'll go up again to hard swimming and then taper for worlds and that's what it'll be like for the next four years now with the competitions and training Good luck. Thank you.